He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Dead Space remake. We are here in chapter 10, and chapter 10 is no picnic. This is no cake block. But stick with the Slack and you won't get whacked. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how, well, hopefully, how to get level 6 in the Z Baller minigame. Um, I've only gotten it once. And I'm going to put a screenshot of the achievement that you get up um, on the screen right now to, to show you that I did actually get it. If I get level 6 in this particular recording, that's that's up for, that's a crapshoot. Uh, according to my testing, you need, you can make two mistakes, but not three. If you make three mistakes in the Z-Baller minigame, you're not going to get level 6. Anyways, um, that's coming up shortly. For now, um, here we are in the common room. When we come back to the common room after getting the power and power core um, and putting it in the elevator and then getting the key card there's gonna be an ambush with some infectors I believe there's two infectors so let's get ready for that now by playing a rousing episode of playing with the dead I'm gonna pile up all these dead bodies here make sure you get them all Put it right in this circle of lights here, right in front of this door. This is the most convenient spot, okay? Because as you know by now, infectors go after dead bodies. So you can always lay a trap by piling all the dead bodies in one spot. And then laying, you know, proxy mine or maybe just gun them down. Something that I may not have uh, talked about is sprint. I have sprint set to toggle. Here, toggle mode. That's on. When you're in zero G and you press the sprint button, well, even like on ground, okay? I'm now I'm walking normally. Now I'm sprinting. You can change direction without having to like um, hit the sprint button again. The game is pretty good at that. See now I'm sprinting and then all I'm doing is changing directions. So well, when we're out in um, the Z baller, I'm not sure if I'll be able to demonstrate this because it's going to kick off the spawn there. Um, I'm going to be dodging back and forth like this in 0G. Anyways, I'll show you that later. Um, Going off on a tangent here, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so we got all the dead bodies piled up. Wait a minute. One left here. Two more. Three more. Okay, so all the dead bodies piled up there. Take a couple of fire extinguishers and pile them in for a little bit of extra sauce. And finally. A proximity mine. There we go. Insert diabolical laughter. <laughs> and now um, I want to solo the pulse rifle. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I didn't know there was three fire extinguishers here. Okay, pile all those in for some extra sauce. I want to solo the pulse rifle because I want the game to force feed me pulse rifle ammo. So, plasma cutter. into the storage and this is the only weapon I have on board now. Good, let's just sell this. Okay, I hope you've got 60,000 credits at least. Save that, don't spend it on those. Alright, having done all that, you probably want to save the game because uh, if you screw it up, you don't have to pile up all the dead bodies again, so let's save the game. And let's go. First thing we're going to do is go to the shower room. It should be a safe run here. Okay. Locker room and showers. In here you're going to find 
the advanced engineering rig schematics and some goodies. And hopefully these lockers are gonna feed me pulse rifle ammo. Atta boy, this is a good game. I am. That's right. You're a good game, aren't you? Atta boy. And stasis pack. And there's always a jump scare in here. Go across this line. And what? Ah! What? What? The, what? It's nothing. <laughs> it's just some jump scare. Hey, I think that's it. Okay, so we got the advanced engineering schematic. Advanced engineering rig. Let's go get that right now. Forgot some. Oh, hello. Okay. There we go. Advanced engineering rig. Suit level five. Buy it. So send Isaac into the change room and this will open up some more upgrade slots on the suit. One of which is an energy upgrade, which will give us an extra stasis shot, which is really, really important. Next, the Z baller with the armored lurkers. Okay, so at this point, we want to yank out the plasma cutter. Best weapon to use against those guys. Make sure we get lots of ammo, and we're good. Whoops. Okay, equip the plasma cutter. Equip. Let's put it in slot number four, like I always do. Okay, weapon check. Pulse rifle. Plasma cutter. Pulse rifle. Okay, ready to go. Down this way. Just follow your locator. Bring it in here. Eventually we have to get... There's a power core in here. And you gotta put the power core in there, take the elevator up, and that will bring you to the crew deck key. Uh, but there's four lurkers in there, and they're pretty heavily armored. Here's the Z Balder. Let's explain about it. It's basically a mini game. You don't have to do this. You can use this module to grab the ball and shoot it into the rings before the timer runs out. Beating each level yields a reward that can be claimed from the lockers. When the center of a ring lights up, target that ring for a skull score multiplier. I don't believe I've ever actually seen this happen. Somebody want to point out in the video if it happens with a timestamp because I don't believe I've ever seen it happen. And I've gotten level 6, so I don't know if they they decided not to put that in, but I've never seen the center of a ring light up. Okay, so get level 1, you get that locker open, level 2, that locker, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, in the level 6 locker is a power node, and the level 5 locker is um, a ruby semiconductor. Sem semiconductor. <laughs> semiconductor. And the other four, I think, are just random loot, which has nothing to do with the weapons you have equipped, so you can't force force the game to feed you certain kinds of ammo. Alright, so let's go do the Z ball. The first thing we're going to do is take care of the lurkers. I've seen people at like, certain websites which, you know advise you to try to do the Z ball or minigame while the lurkers are running around? Hell no! Hell no! You want to take care of the lurkers first, then do the Z ball or minigame. Um, they're gonna spawn as soon as you go across this line here, and they spawn from this vent right up here. Um, the best thing to do is to go into 0G, go up here, and then back away and you can try to like, you'll see them spawning and then go all the way to the end. 
back away all the way to the end so you have lots of time to figure out where they're gonna like put out their tentacles and then just gun down their tentacles using the plasma cutter okay so that's the plan let's do it okay and as we're trying to gun them down we're gonna be sprinting from one one side to the other there's one They always tax me. I tried the force gun on him. Um, it takes like two or three shots. Unlike normal lurkers, so I found it was uh, was not effective. I found the plasma cutter much better. Anyways, that's all of them. When you want to do the Z Baller mini game, first thing you want to do is grab the power core here, so you don't accidentally grab it while you're doing the Z Baller. Even take it out of the room. Exiting zero gravity. Drop that there. Okay, let's see if I can get a recording of me getting level six Z Baller. You start the competition. Glad you start the competition by hitting this, and then what you want to do is immediately fly over here on this platform here, so you're a little closer. Um, I believe that that's the line. You can't go any closer than that. Never tried going to that platform. Anyways, and then basketballs are going to pop out of these three things here, and you got to grab them with kinesis and shoot them into these holes. All right, and like I said. Um, you can make two mistakes and get level six. If you make three mistakes, you're never going to get level six. You only get level five, All right? So here we go. Quiet on the set. Let's see if I can get level six in this recording. If not, what I'm going to do is just simply load a save I've got ready already right here, which has um, level six acquired so that I can get the power node in the level six locker, All right? Level one. Quite unsettling. Quite slack. One mistake. That's two mistakes. That's it. I gotta do a perfect game. Got it. <laughs> that was close. Go! 
Oh shit. I don't think I'm getting level six. Yeah, that's three mis that's four mistakes. That's five mistakes. Never gonna make it. Seconds left. Didn't make it. Oh well. Reward locker now accessible. Congratulations. That's the worst I've ever done. <laughs> it made like a half a dozen mistakes. Yeah, like I said, you can get away with two, maybe three, but more than that, you're gonna get a level six. Okay, so open up. I got level five. I missed level six. Let me just load that save there so um, I can get that power note. Okay, here's my level six Z baller save. All the lockers opened up. Let's get the goodies. Power note. Ruby semiconductor. Money. Force gun. Contact energy. Pulse rounds. All right, so that's that. Um, and in this save, I left the power grow out there, so let me go get it. Entering zero gravity. This save, I even got to go for a high score. See, my high score is 250. I don't know if that's good or not. That's my high score. Okay. In you go. Take the elevator up. And there is a pickup over here. And here is the key card. Voila! Complete that objective. Okay, what happens next is random. There may or may not be a a pregnant spawn on the way back. Did I remember to bring my plasma cutter? No, I did not. Bad slack. Bad. Actually, the pulse rifle might be better. Okay, we're not going here, we're going back. Oh shit! That's random too. That doesn't always happen. Great, got a couple of claws. This will help. Because um, it's not a matter of being random, it's just that I took the locker room route back. I think that does always happen. At any rate, I got some pulse rifle ammo, these guys. You might want to do this to get the claws, because then the claws will make it easier to deal with the uh, the pregnancy. Great, you can take two, two routes back. You take the route through the locker, the shower room, or you can go down this hallway. In this hallway, a pregnant ambush may or may not happen. Let's just take these claws in here. Knowing my luck, I'm recording, so the game's gonna throw the kids in sync at me. 
Okay, Pregnant's gonna spawn down there, and one's gonna spawn right behind you, sandwiching you in. So you usually like to take a a fan. And usually I have the plasma cutter. Let's just put this right here. Oh, that's not good. It's next to the jugs there. Okay, I'll go down with the fan. Okay, maybe it's one or the other. That's interesting. So maybe if you come down this route, you get the pregnant spawn. If you go through the lockers, you get the slasher spawn. Interesting. Okay, so um, there's going to be a slasher playing possum. Let's bring a couple of claws for him. Okay, as soon as you go across this line, the infectors are going to spawn. Um, can I get a claw from that slasher? Great, okay, cool. Okay, see if I can nail one of these infectors as it comes in and then I'm going to lay in the bomb. There he is. And that usually does it. So I nailed one, one infector with the claw and then I just laid it in a proximity mine and it blew up my trap and just Pardon my French, fuck them right up. <laughs> and it's a done deal. Thank you very much. Okay, so at this point I want to take on the force gun. Let's just take on all the weapons that you normally bring. Plasma cutter and definitely the force gun. And all my force gun ammo. Okay, weapon check. Whoops. That's me trying to play another game by mistake. Um, equip that usually goes in slot number four, and force gun that usually goes in slot number one. All right, weapon check. Force gun. And a boy, reload. Plasma cutter. No more cap upgrades for the plasma cutter, so we can safely reload it. And uh, no way. I think there's one more cap upgrade. One or two more. All right. And finally, the pulse rifle. That's ready to go, and we're good. Use the key card here. Security card. Have the pulse rifle ready to go. And make sure you got some stasis. Escape Mercer's quarters, that'll come later. And we'll go to floor one. Floor number one. Okay, as soon as we go through this door, there's going to be a cutscene, and then the hunter's going to spawn after the cutscene. you got to take down the hunter. Easiest way is to use a plasma cutter, a couple shots on his legs, put him in stasis, run around the side. I'm going to show you where you got to shoot the blob on the tentacles, and then run back to the doorway. I'm going to show you all about that after the cutscene. But for now, as soon as the hunter spawns, drop him, stasis, run around. Okay, that's all you got to remember. Let's watch the cutscene. I built your shit. It didn't work. You're not going to hurt anyone else. I'd say your usefulness has run out. Mercer! Still alive, Mr. Clark. I'm still denied convergence thanks to this ingrate. Mercer, wait. Tell me. I want to understand. What is convergence? But you already know. Dead or living, we all feel the markers to the purpose. Don't you want to be reunited with the people you lost? Aye. Yes. And why not help me? Mr. Temple has refused, but we are so close. 
Everything that has happened on this Shamora is just the beginning. When you put it that way, you and your marker can go to hell. I think your death will come faster. You, again. Stasis, run around. Switch to the pulse rifle. Couple shots on that thing. Make sure you're safe. And I didn't. He taxed me, but it's no big deal. Just a little swipe. Go through this doorway here and back off. You see the door locked, and that's it. You're safe. At this point, the objective should complete. Everything's going to be just like it was. Now you get this kind of like mysterious garbled objective. Just ignore that. Your locator is going to point you towards this door here. I wish I could talk to you. It's locked. Oh, there's ammo here. There's more than anything else in this hallway that I missed. Okay, we're good. At any rate, just ignore that. Instead, we're going to go around the counter and over to the elevator in that corner there. And pick up goodies on the way. And it may help to pick up the goodies down here if you can reach them. And then the objective is complete when you get to the elevator. And you get a new objective with a proper locator line. Clear the way to the shuttle that takes you to the elevator. Down below is going to be a couple of dividers. Best handled with um, the force gun. And we're going to play a little game of uh, elevator ride. Best thing to do. It's going to be a divider head that spawns as best demonstrated by taking the elevator down. Yeah, bring a fan. Nothing happens until you step off the elevator. First thing that's going to happen is a divider head is going to spawn out of this fan right there. And another divider head is going to spawn right about here. Best thing to do is grab all the goodies first. Something over there. Should be something here too. There it is. No. Okay. Actually, going to leave the fan on the elevator. Okay, we're going to slide out, blow away that divider head, back up on the, the elevator, take the elevator up immediately, try to blow away another divider head as we're going, take the elevator up, and then what happens after that is kind of random. Um, the divider may actually come through the hole in the wall up there. We'll see what happens. Anyways, we'll be prepared for it. Okay, so here we go. Back, take the elevator, blow away that guy. Run over here, grab your fan, maybe he'll spawn through that hole there. Get ready for that. That would be ideal if he does, but it doesn't happen very often. 
Okay, and we're gonna go back down. Try to drop this divider with the fan. Take the elevator back up again. Blow away that guy a couple times. Back off here. Plasma cutter. In case anybody comes through. And let's go check on their status. One divider is dropped and he's, he's like into divider heads. Now the other one should still be alive. There he is. Let's see if we can drop him. No, nope, can't shoot through the railing. Okay. And then typically I wait for him to kind of wander over here. And then we can go back down. We'll have time to, to drop him again with a force gun. And if any divider heads get up in your face, blow them away with a force gun as well. And try to blow them away as you're going down. And I used the gravity well. That was just a field test. Didn't work that well. Actually, it did work. Isaac. I think they're all dead. It's me. Fortunately, I had to reload my force gun. Let's see what happens. Oh, it worked really well. Great. <laughs> Jeez, what the hell's going on up there? Here's something. Is there something alive here? Okay. Get that semiconductor behind the counter there, don't forget that. And hopefully it didn't like refill your stasis. I forgot about that. Don't refill your stasis. Because now we have some new suit upgrade. Suit upgrades available, like I said before, energy. So this will refill your stasis automatically. Get that and get duration. Um, get this if you want more air and if you want the size of the stasis zone. Yes, I want that. Air, that doesn't really bother me that much, so I usually just, you know, leave that alone. Okay, so now we have six stasis shot and we got a free stasis refill. One more thing to do before we get to the next um, save station. Let's take a look around here. Alright, let's sell out that Super Ruby Semiconductor. Both of them. And I really made out like a bandit with the plasma, the pulse rifle ammo. That's great. That's really great. And I'm just going to stash this. I want at least four stasis packs, so let's stash one. How many we got in the... I don't think I need more than four stashed away. So let's sell this. Okay, so four in storage and four in the inventory. As far as stasis packs. And everything else is good. Okay, one last thing to do is take care of the leap respawn. We're going this way. Look on your map. Save station is to our right. And that's where the game continues, the mission continues. A leaper is going to spawn down here. Um, 
Easiest way to take him is to put him in stasis, and that'll turn him sideways if he had the stasis, the prototype stasis module, and then you can shoot off his tail and use his, use his tail to kill him. Okay, so that's a plan. Back away. Back away, here he is. Grab his tail, shoot at him, and that's you kill him. Yeah. Done and done. What's this done? Oh, there's the power node down here. Ah. Oh, shit, I didn't even know that. Okay. Don't forget to get that. And you can save the game. And we're done here. My name is Major Slack, and I approve this video. If you do too, please give the old Slackster a big old thumbs up, subscribe, post a comment, and I'll see you next time for some more Dead Space Remake. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.